this time. Van der Berg playing at the German Darts Championships, lost in the first round. The 25. Back in Hildesheim to Ronnie Baxter. Josh Payne actually made the last 32 in Gibraltar last year, which you might well have seen. 25, can you throw here again, please? on the PDC YouTube Dimitri channel. Thompson. And the winner of this one will play Mervyn King, the number 10 seed, tomorrow uh, That's a bullseye. in the second round. That's just outside, so Dimitri will throw first in the match. First game, Dimitri to throw first, came on. So the dream maker, Dimitri Vandenberg, to throw first. First to six for place in the second round. 58. These two did uh, meet each other back in September on a challenge tour event uh, with uh, Dimitri winning 4-2 there. And he did go on to actually win that uh, event. Both of them uh, playing on the uh, challenge tour in 2013. Yeah, well known to Rod Harrington, of course. Heavily involved in the youth side of things in the PDC. He'll be joining us this weekend in our commentary. Josh Payne. Exciting young prospect as Vandenberg looks to fill it up and there's the first 180 of the Dutch Darts Masters. Well, the crowd didn't have to wait long for the first of all, of what I'm sure will be many maximums over the course of uh, the weekend uh, here in Veldhoven. He's got a chance of taking a massive one out in the first leg, neither the treble 19 for ball. Just looking to set it up and Payne is quite some way back. Vandenberg. Looking to just hold his throw safely. And he's got at least six darts at this. So he wants a double eight. Well, I missed it by a way there, but he knows he will be back. What kind of pressure is he going to be under from pain? Well, a serious amount. He's left himself a double. It's not the one he would have liked. But it'll certainly do. Well, a miscount there, it looks like. Yeah, Dimitri just uh, checking the 16. score. Dimitri, you now require eight. So, yeah, double four. Just composing himself, having uh, checked the score. To hold throw then, early on in this he game, yes, he does it. Way. So an early Dimitri lead then to Dimitri Seven Vandenberg. To Game on. 60. Josh Payne, an exciting young prospect. Youngest player to win Kent Super League. He was just 17 when he did that. Plays quite a bit of soft tip darts as well. Went over to the World well, Soft Tip Championships play. last year. Won the title of Bull Master, hitting 35 consecutive Sixteen. bullseyes. <laughs> That's wow. eight behind the world record set by Roy and Lammy. You might have seen at the uh, Labrix World Championships. Guy with an incredible set of specs, Roy and Lamb. Bit of a slow start to this leg from Josh Payne. Needs to find that treble, and those two single fives certainly won't help. 29. Wow. In a bit of trouble here, Vandenberg. Got himself a heavy advantage and looking to force that home. He's looking for his second maximum. He's coming down the board and 171 will do very nicely. Yes, he certainly uh, got out of the traps the best of these two players early on in this match. 58. Dimitri Yukar, 136. So that uh, outshot won't uh, happen now. 100. But that sets it up very nicely indeed, and Josh Payne is a long, long way back. 59. Back at the uh, Euro Tour event in Gibraltar, Josh Payne was brilliant in beating Wayne Jones in the first round. Not found that kind of form here as Vandenberg looks at double 18 and finds it with his second dart. And that's a 2-0 lead, a break of throw. And Vandenberg looking good in the early stages. Of course, we're in uh, the Netherlands, a hotbed of darting talent, uh, certainly in recent years, and plenty for the home fans to 
cheer over this uh, weekend 60. with the likes of uh, Kevin Van Hoot and uh, Vincent Van Der Voort. Also Yella Klassen in action later on today as a maximum comes flying in. And that's just what Josh Payne maybe needed to uh, kickstart his uh, game here. His first ton 80 of the match in this uh, third leg of the first match of the afternoon in the Dutch Darts Masters. And then more Dutch talent on show tomorrow. The likes of Michael Van Gerwen, the number one seed. 66. He'll be in action here and sure to have pl plenty of local support. Yeah, one Dutchman who won't be here. Raymond van Barneveld, the five-time world champion, didn't make it through the host nation qualifiers earlier this week. Beaten 6-5 in the uh, deciding match by the young lad Kevin Vaughanhoek, who you mentioned. 140 from Josh Payne. And that leaves him in a strong position to get his first leg on the board. Does Vandenberg can find a treble here. Oh, he certainly didn't need a single three. Double 19 for 115 out shot for Josh Payne. I thought he might set it up with Vandenberg back on 169, but went straight at it. Double 19 is not usually anybody's preferred shot, but 115 out shot may be just what he needs to just kick start himself in this one. Yes, that will have settled the nerves, especially taking out that out shot uh, in such fine style on that double 19. 99. Coming up next, we have Stuart Kellett, one of the uh, stars rising up 96. the top 32 of the PDC, up against uh, another European qualifier, Bernard Reuth from uh, Germany. Josh Payne looks to fill it up for his second 180 of the match, and there it is, and a nod in the head from Josh Payne. He's back in business. Yeah, it's just taking him a little a couple of legs to settle, Josh Payne, you feel, but he's already down to an out shot with Vandenberg well back and uh, struggling to make a dent in it with that uh, visit. Oh, that is absolutely nightmarish for Payne, but he recovers well with the trouble 19 and Vandenberg's a way back. Got to find a treble. Doesn't find one, Josh Payne. He's got six starts for 84, and this would be for a breaker throw to level the match, and he's looking. A double 12, double six. 78. Percy will be back. And Vandenberg, who uh, got off to a flyer in the first two legs, just uh, gone a bit wayward here, uh, struggling to find Four any big four. treble at all. Joshua requires six. Well, is he going to split this? Two double two, perhaps? Or is he going to go straight at it? He's already taken out double 19. That's right next door. Well, that looks a little bit awkward. And that even more so. And that's oh. bounced out. Well, well, well. Well, that was unfortunate for Josh. And you can see the wry smile at the back of the stage. Well, there's the two trebles he needed. He needs double 16, and what a way to punish Josh Payne. It was bad luck, the winning double fell out. But to then get punished with a 1-4-6 checkout, unbelievable stuff. And he enjoyed that, and uh, he made sure he, the crowd knew that he enjoyed that as well, Vandenberg. He'd had an absolutely lousy leg there. <laughs> Checked out on that big out shot of 146, and then 90. kicks off leg number five with a ton 80. Well, you get the feeling the last nine darts we've seen may be key in determining the outcome of this match. 16. Payne, desperately unlucky to see that double three fall out. And a one, four, six out shot. Brilliant stuff from Vandenberg. 59. And looking to cement his authority in this one by piling in some big scoring in this leg. And yet again finds a treble. Could well give himself a shot at the ball his next visit. 16. He's under absolutely no pressure at all from Josh Payne. Got 
Well, the 60 would have left uh, the bullseye, but he's uh, certainly uh, done well to leave himself for double 18 when he comes back with pain well back in this leg. And Vandenberg really showing some of that class that took him to the BDO Teenage British Open last July. Double 18 then for a 4 1 lead. That bent the wire. He's shown the trick line. Dimitri Vandenberg. Six leg is just in front of us. Game on. Oh, Josh Payne needs something. And he needs something very, very quickly. 100. And yes, I think you called it right there, Dan, that the sucker punch of those six darts, the 146 to, to win the fourth leg and then kicking off the sixth leg with a ton 80. And here's another one flying in from Vandenberg. Well, Vandenberg has played on this stage before, something Josh Payne hasn't. He appeared here, the Dutch Open, and the juniors, he actually got an absolute schooling off. Roby John Rodriguez, 4-0. But he knows what it's like to play in front of this crowd and on this stage. 81. I'm not sure if that's proven the difference. I think the main thing is Payne seems to have lost his composure a little after that leg, which he'll feel was absolutely wow. robbed okay. from him as Vandenberg sticks a ton 40 in. And he really is in pole position. We've seen a 115, we've seen a 146, we won't see a 121 here, but it should leave him double top. Nearly left him double 10. So Shanghai on the 20s, a treble would leave him needing double. So 60 when he comes back, if he comes back with Vandenberg wanting double top to go to within one leg of victory here. He does need double ten. Just takes a moment to go within one leg. At the second round, and there it is. Dimitri Vandenberg takes a 5-1 lead. And it may well be an unassailable lead. Yes, and Vandenberg has the throw in this leg as well. Just the first of six, as you can see there on your caption. And that's the format right the way through to the final. 48 players starting out here in the Dutch Darts Masters. All the winners today will play the... 16 C to come in tomorrow and then we have the third round Sunday afternoon and then a cracking Sunday evening with the quarter final the semi and the final for you where the winner will be crowned Dutch Darts Masters Champion of 2014 and take home a winner's check of £20,000 yeah serious money on offer 100 and it's a ton for Payne, and he has stolen the darts in this one. But Vandenberg hits back with a ton 40 of his own. And he's just a smidgen over 200 points away from a place in the second round, but Josh Payne responds in kind. Nine off. He needs to find a trouble really to put more pressure on, doesn't so. We've seen him take a big one out already. 127 trouble, 19 for ball. Not gonna happen. So Vandenberg will get a shot. He's done a 146. If he does a 148, he is storming through to round two in style. Can the dream maker do it? It's on. Oh, just missing out, and a bounce out doesn't help him at all either. So to keep his hopes alive, double four for Josh Payne, and he does it. The 5-2, still a long way back, but it gives the man from Kent hope. And that was against the throw as well. Well, he needed it, but can he keep producing it? That's one of five consecutive legs Josh Payne has to win to avoid ending his Dutch darts master's hopes at the earliest possible opportunity. Vandenberg averaging 
A shade over 93 and a half at the moment. Very solid stuff. It's a good six points clear of pain in the averages. And this may well help him as Vandenberg looks to fill it up, and he does so, and that's 180 number four for Dimitri Vandenberg. Well, it's certainly been a quality encounter to start the afternoon's action, the first of 16 matches right the way through that we're bringing you in this first round of the Dutch Darts Dutch Masters. And Josh Payne needs a big one here. He really needs a 140. And he gets it. But Vandenberg again is looking at 134. It's a big one, but it's gettable. Won't happen, just looking to set it up. Is that going to be enough? Josh Payne, a 1 2 4. Possibly to stay in the match. Not going to happen. 103 left. 40. Dimitri So to book his place in round two against Mervyn King tomorrow. He wants double eight for the match, and he does it. Dimitri Vandenberg, a quality showing from the youngster seeing off Josh Payne by six legs to two and coming up next we'll have Stuart